Uh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... It is a mighty Lieutenant Rakeel at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 103. Uh, where, well, we'll be showcasing some games to see if there are any goods for streaming at some later points. We'll give... Uh, typically we get about four, we'll give each about half an hour, but if they are just not fun or yeah, just not good, uh, we'll, we'll cut some off earlier. So we might be doing four, we might be doing eight, since that's the amount that I have prepared for each of these. And yeah, the first game for today is going to be Papers, Please. Uh, in and... this mode, I gotta get out the papers. And I don't think I need to give an introduction to this game since it was quite the hit back in the day. And I, I needed to be reminded of this just before stream or just before we went live here. This was made by the same person who made Return of the Oprah Din, which, well, explains why the music sounds similarly, very <laughs> identically styled, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think people can see in chat uh, someone who is very excited. Yeah, hello there, Glacier Boy. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Welcome, Glacier Boy! <laughs> but yeah, this game was made in 2013. Uh, Return of the Oprah Din was made in 2018. So if we go by, well, there's going to be five years between each game release, we should be due for a new game by Lucas Pope. Somewhere in this year or the next. Either way, let's get started here. Are you Starting the timer. Two thousand Turkey. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Very well. I have my passport ready. Okay. Let's just get started. Uh, I should confess. Before the stream started, this song of Melly was already in my brain. <laughs> yeah, he is good with music. Congratulations. The October labor lottery is complete. Your name was Holt. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoints. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expect a Class A dwelling. Glory to Westortska. Let's see, Greston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Admission keep us safe? Families to reunite, entertainment, the weather, the truth of our Storzka. Totally not uh, a bullshit name. Anyway, let's head to work. November 23rd, 1982. Okay. Uh, Inspector, welcome to your new position at Greston Border Checkpoint. Stamp password entry visa and return documents to entrance. Entry is restricted to our Storzkan citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to our Storzkan. What the heck is the point of a border checkpoint if you're not going to let anyone but your own people in? <laughs> Let's see. Pay attention to passport nationality. The inspector booth, the shutter, the counter, rule book, audio transcripts, bulletin storage, and time and date. Let's see. Uh, you missed an opportunity to play this in October, or rather November. <laughs> you could have done that, but we are going through the list alphabetically. And the paper, okay. I think they only allow uh, people of their own nationality on the first day, probably. Yeah. So, just to allow all the families to reunite first, before they allow others in. This kind of makes sort of sense. Okay, Especially the limited uh, booths. Okay. I thought this was bigger here, but uh, I haven't actually played this game in... Uh, let's see. All right. Finally, I can return home. Arstotska. Okay. Approve. Okay. Next. And yeah, basically the game is a sort of time, is time management, since you need to check these. Uh... Import. Denied. Sorry. Bye-bye. Yeah. I saw instantly import. <laughs> yeah, we can identify the outstorts can, you know, once by just the outside look of it. But yeah, basically this game is all about time management and checking things. Yep. 
Uh, let's see. The, oh, yeah, it, it was not case. worth it. <laughs> I believe we'll go to hell. <laughs> but yeah, as the game progresses, you need to check more and more stuff because people are going to try and, uh, well, get in with forged documents and such. Okay. okay. Of course, this is going to start off boring, but as we go, it was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Oh. Okay. You were saying? Uh, let's see, that's not one of ours, so bye bye. You think they would have announced this at least, but. But that's what you get with uh, dictatorial uh, regimes. They don't give a crap, and they don't care to communicate that they don't give a crap. Yeah, then again, not everyone read the news and all that, or able to catch in time. My pie, just throw that back into his face. Oh, there's a lot of reasons they may not be, be unaware of it. Let's see, another one bites the dust. But you think they would at least put up a signboard around here? Yeah. Then again, I'm. Hmm. Okay, I don't actually know how far out of a back of a border checkpoint the actual borders of the country go, but they might not be able to put it on the other side here, or at least not far out. Oh. Thing. Okay. Next. Might as well have this one popped up every time. Okay. There. And we're out of. That's it. Day is done. Okay. Manage your expenses using the check boxes below. Okay. <laughs> We had 30 in savings. We made. Okay, we made five bucks per. Uh, <clears throat> per check. Correct check. So we got 60. But we immediately lost 50 to. Well, the rent, heat, and food. Because, yeah, of course, they will provide us a living. Uh, they will provide us an apartment. But not actually pay the fucking rent. And yeah, everyone is doing okay. So, we sleep. Let's see. Creston checkpoint to success. Analysis upbeat. Increased trade and cooperation predicted. Okay. Now, recommend to turn heat off. Okay. Yeah, there, this game is going to get a lot more tough later on. Let's see. Yeah, I think you, t you turn the heat on every, oh, this, every second day or something to avoid people getting sick. Thank you. Let's see. From today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your boot's inspection hardware is now installed. Check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Deny any infant with inconsistent information. Enter inspect mode using the red button on your desk. When inspecting, highlight two pieces of discrepant information for further options. This post is bound by Ministry of Admission rules and regulations. Study the rulebook closely. Okay. Highlight two pieces of discrepant information from uh, inspect mode to enable interrogation. Okay. So yeah, everyone with valids. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to need to pull this out. Let's see, Glacier Boy, I think that is the strategy at least. I cannot remember. Okay. No. I think it might be. Let's open up and see how much we screw up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know exactly. Okay, what we need to check for is the date, I believe. Ex okay, this one is good. It's not expired. Okay. Next. Yeah, we. You have to. You have to be make. Yeah, we have to do things correct with this, but you also have to be speedy with. It. Oh, hello. Oh, yours is expired. Yeah. Let's see, you cannot use... Okay. Yeah, if it was just renewed, it was good, so piss off. 
So yeah, now we need to check the date. Other times we'll need to be checking for forge reasons. So just like I said, let's see. Okay, you are good. You still have a two years on that. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, the, these rules will get more and more expanded over time. You are good. Okay. So, yeah, this will get more and more tough as the game progresses. And there is other stuff you also need to keep track of. Okay. Uh, oop. What? Passport. Oh, oh, invalid issuing city. Okay, that, yeah. That is also saying, going what? to happen. I think it's so much of, it feel like a West Christian, that, that can't be right. Uh, how do we check, this even check indeed. for those? Uh, booth info. Ah, here we go. Uh, let's see. Ostrotska. Wait. Yeah, input United uh, Fed. Uh, no. Um, okay, how do we even... Wait, what? Uh, fuck it. It should be... Wait. Oh. I have it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes they will just throw junk at us. Oh, hello there. Uh, let's see. Brecky Gore, Gorista City. Uh, how do we even go to the correct ones here? Oh, oh hello. And yeah, there's going to be a bit more going on than just checking papers. Day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Progress is saved at the start of each day. And yeah, because we didn't make as much money, well, we have to cut into our savings. But let's just... <clears throat> let's cut the heat for a bit then. Checkpoint lockdown. More guards, more scrutiny. Terrorist strike at Greston. Collection uh, ag agitator suspected. Okay. <laughs> I very much doubt it was a VIP ticket. More like an advertising ticket. Let's see. Entry for nonsense is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport, entry visa, and returning all documents to entrance. Glory to our storage scam. Okay. Missing documents can be correlated uh, by highlighting counter and pertinent entry in rulebook. Okay. Pull this thing out. No. Okay, we can just check. Okay, that is a bit annoying that we can't go back to the map. Okay, that just brings us back to the front here. Okay. No, here we go. So, okay, we have a visa, we have an entry ticket. Good steal today. Uh, import. Let's see, high bond is a good... Okay, so approve and go. And your ticket. There. Oh, no trouble. That was the wrong accent. Okay. Uh, no tickets. So. Oh, wait, is this. Okay, that's not a, a Stortzkin. Yeah, foreigners must present an entry ticket. I have it here. Okay. Good steal today. Alright. Then the map. Uh, you are from the United Federation. There. Corista City. Yep, you are good. And you can see how this is going to take longer and longer. So you're going to have more and more trouble making money and yeah. staying alive. This is why this game can be hard to co uh, commentate over. Do I do wonder if Another both one. of us having four eyes, pun not intended, would be helpful here. Or it would cause more chaos. Hi Han, okay. Go and go. There we go. 
Let's see, glacier bore I spit on the collations. Okay. <laughs> there and there. Valid ticket. Uh, United Federation. Not a it's... valid rep. Uh, okay. Not a valid license. Uh, yeah. Issuing city. Okay, I think we are, we actually get penalized if we do make mistakes. Okay, yeah, I hear you, about terrorist you, attack. You have a free strike, and after free strike, you don't get paid uh, for each mistake. Okay. So you're only allowed to miss do three mistakes per day. Let's see. Uh, you are a Stortskin, but the issuing date. Okay, that's wrong, I think. Okay, we got that right. I believe if you deny them... Oh, oh, have to what? But the, the issuing city was wrong, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, that one's good until, for a bit more. Uh, let's see, Impor, Hai Han. No okay. idea for... I looked away when you did that guy. Hmm. Oh, the, but the, oh, oh, come on! Yeah, you can see how things can quickly go wrong then. Okay, yeah. good with the, that. Sadly, I don't look at the data to my own head is in the way. <laughs> Let's see, United Federation, Korkostian, yeah, approved. There. I think something about the photo was wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it! Hold it! Okay, and I think that's three strikes, so we don't get to the other track. This one is someone you'll get uh, familiar with. Oh, yeah, potato! Uh, back to the front, rules. Okay, use inspect mode to interrogate. Okay. Passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I come back again. Okay, just piss off you. That is going to be a reoccurring character. Okay, you are from Kalecia. Date is good. Issuing city is... West Western. Yep. Different haircuts, uh, matching data. Okay, it matches good enough, oh. apparently. Okay, which question is correct? Oh. Now I get it. Uh, the terms of which question was for the wrong country. Okay, Arstotska. Pardon, Isa. Okay, you are no foreigner, so you don't need the tickets. Yep, that, I think that is the mistake that I made earlier with the previous one. Oh, come on! Yeah, we are totally not getting paid at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, now it's so... You do get the penalty! So, yeah, you see that the, how quickly... Uh, oh, come! Uh, yeah, minus... Oh, yeah, 10... Minus 10 credits. We are we're basically going to starve already, it seems. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, like you, you can see how quickly things will go wrong, and how quickly, yeah, it, things become difficult already. Okay, face looks similar. Uh, tickets is good. Okay. And yeah, at least you can finish up the last one when time runs out. And yep. wait, what? Uh, I think that's going to be a game over already. But, uh, yeah, we can, no, we, but... uh, we can't even afford heat or foods. But yeah, like I said. Uh, uh, well, 
people are going to get sick. Let's see. Checkpoint expansion expo uh, no postpones. Black market activity explodes. Government blames lax immigration controls. Of course. Let's see. How much time do we do still have? Okay, we I think we can do this day and then we'll move on. Let's see. Strict credential requirements have been instituted. Our storage citizens must show their ID card. Foreigners must secure and uh, present a valid entry permit. Entry tickets are no longer sufficient. Okay. A new chapter detailing you know, document features has been added to your rulebook. Check all information thoroughly. Deny any applicants with discrepant documents. Refer to the audio transcript to correlate en entrance statements. Glory to Trotska. And the last two pages are always the same, it seems. Okay, how badly can we mess this up this time, huh? Okay, purpose of trip, plan to work, purpose work, yes, duration of stay, 90 days, correct. Okay, regional map, import, that one is good. Uh, this one is valid still, this one is not valid, okay. Matching day, what? Uh oh, it's December. Okay. Okay. Papers. Okay. Nope. No tickets. Uh, full year. Uh, basic rules. Yeah, no, he doesn't have the papers for it. We need to deny him. Yeah, but we first need to interrogate. Yep, here it is because of this stuff. Okay, yeah, what was that? If he do doesn't have them. Okay, work for a year. That sounds good. Enter by 12. That one is good. Hairstyle is different, but otherwise good. Okay. And what's this be denied anyways? Trouble. You only get to know like a few seconds after it happens. In this case, not, it seems. Okay. Entry tickets. That's not good anymore. Okay. Yeah, they weren't informed, so off you go. Let's see, the fact that they do not have to show the ID card scene before seems like a flaw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ID cards. Okay. Uh, let's see, about 181, 66, yeah. OG Lillian, OG Lillian, Arc Lillian. Okay, good. And, Stem okay. Uh, sorry. Does the city is that city correct? Is you Let's have a look. Yep. Okay. Watch it be wrong all the same. Nope. Yeah, I think it's by this point that they tell you if it's wrong or not. Let's see. Purpose of yeah, trip. Yeah, when they almost reach that, they will tell you when okay. they almost reach that. Visits, six months, okay, that is correct. Jessica Doll, Jessica Doll, okay. Uh, date is wrong, okay. This is a forged document. And yes, like it. You can see how you can e very easily get tripped up on small stuff. Uh, let's see, one six seven uh, seven six fifty six. Okay, Loska, Alaska, Latna, Latna. Yeah, expires then. Okay, this looks good to me. Right, city. Yep. Reasonable map. Astotska skull. Oh, wrong. Okay. 
Always reset that one. Let's see. Purpose of trip. Visit. Okay. Duration of stay. Three months. Okay. Let's see. KO1. I missed over that. Sonia. Oh. Name discrepancy. It, it, fingerprints. Okay. Uh, let's see. No known aliases. Uh, okay, that does match. Uh, hopefully, Wait, the last it... stamp will be counted. Wait, they said no yep. known alias. So you did uh, right okay. to deny them. Okay, it was right. So, uh, hello again. Uh, what do you do? Face off. Who pressed that? Okay, Arstotska, ID. Let's see, Anderson. Oh, name wrong. Names do not match. Two different names. Okay, do you have a known alias then? Because at the moment... Oh, no known alias. They do match, but it's not a known alias, so piss off. Okay, correct again. Yeah, you need to be in a bit of a mindset for this. Okay. Oh. Pass through. Uh, that's. Is that correct or not? Visit. Pass through. Yep. yep that's the timer. Okay. Oh, is uh, cleared. Uh, let's see. 17, 21, 22, 12. Uh, that is looks good. Correct? Okay. Was that correct? Uh, yep. Damn it! Oh, we both missed the photo. Okay, yeah. It seems that you get penalized after the first one pass through. Transit, yeah, couple of weeks, okay. Uh, does that match? Apparently that matches. Okay, Naomi Taliyaf Ska, okay. That looks to match. Oop. Okay, we can finish this one off. Oh, hold on. Reason mm, yeah, the map. The, check the city. Okay, that, oh, wrong. This is a forgery. Yeah, that's misspelled. Okay, good, we caught that. And good thing that's denied overrides. Get lost. You can see how things are quickly escalating with complexity. Yeah, just me and me here helps yeah. a little bit. And of course, the rent has gone up. Okay, and we still can't afford heat, but we can at least afford foods. But yeah. Uh, let's see. We're Republican track star wanted for murder. Vince Lestrange's whereabouts unknown has likely fled Republic. Republia. Uh, profile girlfriend killed in jealous rage. Okay. But yeah, that'll have to do it for this. So. Okay. What do you think of that game to possibly stream? Like, it could be really freaking frustrating on my end at the absolute least. So yeah, <laughs> I'm leaning against. Like I like the idea, but I'm not going to be naive. I agree. This can quickly turn... Like, sure, I was able to help you here a little bit. But, the, the, but still, it will be hard to commentate and talk normally, even to begin with, as well. Yeah. I, so, we, could we could divide the tasks, like you check if uh, certain things go are correct or not. But, yeah, it would still be rather a nuisance let's see it helps yeah. until you're both sidetracked or distracted like with, by, by making commentary as well yeah you probably would want to have it on the easy mode to make it somewhat easier 
Yeah, at least okay. there's that. So maybe on easy mode. Anyways, moving on to our second game of today. Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. <laughs> yeah, Pathfinder is an offshoot of Dungeons & Dragons. It's basically considered uh, Dungeons & Dragons 3.75, because it was basically meant as an improvement on the 3.5e edition uh, of Dungeons & Dragons, and well, it became its own thing. Well, it was its own thing from the start, but still. And yeah, that's been <laughs> they've been making their own games on the side. And I believe this is the most recent one, and from what I've heard, it is highly... Why is there continue? I've never played this before. It is highly recommended. Because yeah, there is just I'm... so much branches that you can go down that you could play this game for 200 hours and still be finding more. Yeah, I've been tempted in the ages past to buy it, but then I saw how big it was, I felt... Maybe not. As well, it did have, for a while, a lot of serious bugs. <laughs> Glacier Boy, oh my gee, I want this game really badly. <laughs> oh no, it's... We as developers are always striving to improve our work. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Okay. It's made in Unity. During this... Yeah, that as well. But luckily they've been... No, well, they've said that they are backing off from their stupidity. Whether they actually will has to be seen, but I'm pretty sure that Unity as an engine is basically going to die within the next few years because no one's going to trust them anymore. Okay, during the struggle against the World Wound, the epic war between Golarion and the Abyss that has raged for more than a hundred years. Up to now, the Crusader armies have barely managed to curb the overwhelming enemy forces, but not for much longer. The Demon Lords are preparing to strike a decisive blow. You will have to harness mystic powers, take command of the Fifth Crusade, and lead it against the demonic hordes. Okay, next. And yeah, just look at this with the options on just the difficulty alone. <laughs> you can even just go full custom with it, but let's just go on story mode. Uh, yeah, let's so see. I'm already unsure about streaming this for it's a long game. Yeah, that as well. Really and long. then we get to making our character. Where there's a few pre-generated ones. And of course, you can make your own. <laughs> and this is just another rabbit hole where you can just spend hours upon hours in this. But for the moment, let's just go with this <laughs> Mermun or Mar Marnun here. Who is a th tiefling slayer who specializes in melee and range combat, apparently. Okay. Uh, oh, they even have difficulties up here. <laughs> and of course, the full combat one or full combat ones are the easiest to go with. Okay. And no, there. Next. Okay. Uh, Portrait. Okay. Kingmaker. Okay, this is just selecting your portraits, and I'm pretty sure you can make your own. Yeah, you can. You could do that in yeah, the old custom board here. Escape games you, as well. You can put your own in here. <laughs> Sometimes in the old border skate one, two, and dodos, and even in the winter nights. I never understood how you made. I know you could do it there. So many years back, nobody how you did that. Just. A lot of character customization as well, just appearance customization as well. Even voices. Yeah, yeah, these just, ones you can also get stuck on, but they can be hilarious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's complete that. And just jump in and start the timer here. Let's see. Yes, well, yes I'm a D&D &D player and Pathfinder is also really good. I think I've tried to play Pathfinder at one point, but I never... The group just dissolved after the first thing, I believe. Make way, coming through, fetch a healer quick. Bonk. 
wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Dick. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Let's see. You hear the stern voice of an elderly man. Who did this to him? Okay. But you're so weak you can't even turn your head. Oh, 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 it's our character on the stretcher. Okay. <laughs> what I thought no, was you... Yeah. I found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. Okay. <laughs> also, just do this. When there's a term or a place, you can just bring it up and just look. You can just look into it and there's... There's he Okay, you can just bring it up into its own little page here. Let's turn. Just a lot. Just <laughs> Basically, this game is like a, a full course meal with everything in it. Like, you can even look at the demons uh, here. Or explanation. Okay, we can't get an explanation on the guards. Oh, that should speak for itself. Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. That's an order. Don't die. <laughs> we'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. Okay, that's a good explanation for why you start with nothing or just basic stuff. Also makes sense, that rule. Not what is doing at festival. Leader of our troops. The sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. Hear, hear. That's the Crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. <laughs> Okay, someone's parents just decided that they only have one uh, vowel, or uh, that's, I believe it's called a vowel when it's A, E, and such. Is that a Dutch name? I'm uh, pretty sure this is far away from anything Dutch or normal human names. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her! Terendelev! Has anyone seen Terendelev? They already got a bunch of characters, it seems. Quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. And yeah, there's just, like I said, there's just so, there's also so much room for just role playing with things. Uh, That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? Well, first half of it's not dying. Oh, that must be the healer. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. Uh, All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed. He was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Okay, a, a dragon? <laughs> okay, that's a big start off. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. It's... You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Okay, a dragon with a sense of humor. That's something. 
I accept your thanks. <laughs> but my work is not yet done. I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Okay, what were we picking a fight with? <laughs> Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Oh, great. It's but basically a painkiller. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Yeah, that explains the name! <laughs> yeah. Yep. Day of the city. Yep, that was just getting, us getting a quest. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Moving around with your right mouse. Okay, bunch of citizens all over the place. Camera with WSD. Okay. Uh, let's. Anyone here who looks of interest? We, a bunch of people we could chat to. We do uh, it my way. Okay. Yep, oh, hello. Characters and interactive objects. You can interact with various objects, such as doors and chests, by clicking right uh, on them. Some special objects have an icon above them. This will also. Uh, this is also how you talk to characters. Hold tab to highlight. Okay, that's always useful. There's even a bloody encyclopedia for all of this. Let's see. They call this a celebration. This is but a paltry imitation of what goes on in blah blah blah. Okay, someone who fell off the high horse and somehow ended up in the trees apparently. What's this? Yeah, it's the bar. See? I love a drink, especially when the city's footing the bill. <laughs> what do you say? Another round? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Glacier Boy. Yeah, full combat is always easiest as dexterity based classes require finesse and planning, while magic classes can require managing spell components and even ink and paper for scrolls to learn new spells. It's not a true fantasy name if you don't have an A and an E together in the name. <laughs> okay, what have we here? Okay, shortcuts. A, a lot of shortcuts. <laughs> Let's see, you have a name. Anivia. Everyone's letting their hair down. Everybody's drinking, having a good time, but the demon spies never... Okay, that... okay, at least it's over here as well, it seems. But the demon spies never let up, so that means no fun for me. I could see a stream this, but we would have to investigate how long the main campaign is. Yeah, and even then it would be just one of dozens, if not hundreds, of ways you could go through this game, but... That is one of the things that would that's a big positive about this. Like you're very you're very unlikely to get through the game the same way as some anyone else. Yeah, unless you follow strictly a guide. Let's see. Spellbook, character, journal. Let's see. Sample the special festive. Throw a dart at a target, hit the mannequin. Okay. Where is this mannequin and where is the dart thing? Oh no. Ah, there. He's, he, he has a history of mannequins. <laughs> there we go. Left, aim further to the left. Oh, dead center. Ooh, what about a hundred paces? Can you do it? <laughs> well, festival's over. Like, did we expect anything else? Okay, I like that they have the balls to cut your... <laughs> your quest short. 
And it's a dragon, I believe. Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city. You do, Began. So much for the bloody dragon. That's why she did not have an icon. Yeah. Outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Let's see. Let's try and fight. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the heart of a demon lord, even. <laughs> that sounds like bullshit. Good luck. Try not to get eaten now. Uh, oh, now, now there's actually a bunch of locusts around. It would make sense when their lord is around. Well, let's see if this thing can actually pierce that thing's hide. Or probably just piss it off. A mortal man snaps its jaws at the lord of locusts. Well, oh, 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 game oh, over. <laughs> uh, oh see. dear. Glacier boy, hangry deeming is hangry. The silver dragon Terendaleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Uh, still, you'd think that a dragon would still get at least one attack off and not just get, well, executed on the spot. Okay. The festival organized to raise the spirits of the city. Okay, that doesn't show in there. Well, at least we're not on the slaughter field, because that up top could hardly be called a battlefield. Yeah, they like to do that bed a little bit better. Oh, holy mother but, oh dear. See, a small woman with yeah, messy brown hair wins in pain, uttering a stream of curses through clenched teeth. She is pinned to the ground by a couple of weighted eddy boulders. And Avia. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. <laughs> Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. Okay, no broken bones then, probably. That's all that matters. Now, we're oh. going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Let's see. During the course of the game, you have to apply your skills in many different situations. Frequently, you will have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, we are trying to help Sheila fetch Anivia from underneath the rubble. The result of such checks determine how events subsequently pan out. Okay. Let's see. We have... Okay. The number is the amount that is the number that you need to match to succeed. And well, we have minus two athletics. So uh, a D20, a, a die, 20 sided dice will get rolled and this number gets applied to it. So we have a less than 50% chance of doing this. Let's see. Oh, we do have better with this. Let's see. Uh, we don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try to find something to use as a lever and... 
and apparently we are of e yeah we are of evil alignment so uh he can also do evil stuff let's see uh yeah let's try this one work smarter not harder let's see you quickly find some suitable sticks and free the wounded woman from the rubble without even breaking a sweat look at you it's good to meet someone who uses brains first and brawn second. Ugh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Yeah. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tiravade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Yeah, I don't think uh, people expect freaking Beelzebub to show up to the party. Well, yeah. Paladin by the grace of Iomade, I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And well, <sighs> I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was Ooh, that's an important thing. It was by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Oh, uh, let's see. Ta -ta. Good to meet you. Now, tell us all about yourself. <laughs> Whoa, girl. Slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. Yeah, those locusts are going to be finding their way down here soon enough. Yeah. Now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Yeah, so close yet so far, quite literally. To summarize, mm. there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Okay, she has humor. Okay, yeah. now your party has several characters. This is can you make your own party members, like in the Pillars of Eternity? Hmm, not sure. Well, I think you can, can only make your own character. Yeah, for in Pillars of Eternity, you can make your own character and your own side characters if you want. Or that for you can feel like it could be fun for streaming if you have a just a party of your own friends, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Oop. Cold Iron Dagger, okay. I believe Cold Iron is a special material that's good, very strong against fey creatures. Okay. Uh, 1 to 8 damage, 1 to 4 damage. Let's see, let's put that in there. And there. It seems that we... Okay, we can have four weapon groups, it seems. Uh, flail, bow, crossbow... And of oh, course, oh, ever burning torches. Okay. It appears on your body, everything. Yeah. Okay, let's put that there as well. And this cloak of resistance, which, well, plus one bonus to all saving throws. And let's see, short spear. And another cool. Oh, no, that's the cold iron dagger in the first place. Okay. Um, let's see. 1.8 damage, 1.8 damage, 3 times crit chance, not 2 times crit damage, I mean more, but this one crits on the rolls of 19 and 20, so double crit chance, 
But this one only crits on a 20, but does three times damage if you do crit. So pros and cons. Let's put this spear here because spears are always good to have. And they probably have one hand spear. Let's see. This is it, uh, melee yep. simple one handed. Okay. Finally! Yep. One handed spears in games are rare. Yeah, typically that's reserved for javelins, and those are typically only thrown. Whatever we hear. What's that? Loot. It's oh. Terendlev scale. Let's see. Targets one friendly creature within range, not affected by spell resistance. We restored life to a deceased. Okay, this it's a phoenix down basically. But it it's a a dragon down. Oh. You. Let's see. The fine apparel of this young half elf, uh, half elf uh, woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. However, she holds herself with such dignity that you would have forgotten for thinking uh, you would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high uh, society party and not in the dank catacombs under the city. Her fingers grip her rapier hilt with confidence, ready to draw it at a moment's notice. At her feet lies a dead body, so mutilated that at first glance it's hard to tell if it's animal or human. Okay. Relax. <laughs> Friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. Let's see, what happened to whoever that was? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. Uh, I don't think you can revive a, a bunch of gore. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. And let's see, Glacier Boy. Cold Iron is good, Mithril as well. Mithril I know because I I got that in Dungeons & Dragons Online. It's basically uh, whatever armor is made out of that counts as one armor class lighter. So if you make light armor, if you have light armor that's made out of that, it counts as unarmored, I'm, or still as light armor, I think. Basically, it allows for... Uh, less armor focused classes to have higher defenses with that yeah and it would also I be think I know him but it, it is lighter yeah from the library he was a good lad even if he was kind of stuck up may his soul rest in peace certainly survivors should stick together it's only sensible who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Tarandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? Yeah, that's what happens when a war against hell has been going on for over a freaking century. Things start to get worn down. We've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack, only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. <laughs> And that's the stream timer. Uh, let's see. Companion Camilla has the ability Cure Light Wounds. Okay. I do like that. Some people would probably be annoyed by this, but since the combat and mechanics in this game have such depth and, well, spread as well, it's a good thing that they explain uh, most, if not everything. And let's see. Glacier Boy. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I was like, I, I don't hate tutorials. I can't like them. The only time I dislike the tutorial is when the tutorial is very bad at its job. Yeah. 
And let's see, Glacier Boy. Funny you mention that game. I'm playing it right now. I, I should continue with it. I believe I have a main character at level 10. But yeah. Pathfinder War of the Righteous. Great game. Amazing game even from all I have heard. But if I'm a bit unsure on if to stream it due to its, well, its size and length. I would say a hesitant maybe until we've done some research. Yeah. Yep, moving on to the third game. That's a name that a lot of people should know. I don't actually. <laughs> Wait, I... Okay, now it does ring bells. Just yeah, they, the appearance they, did not. Daedalic is known to be made, to have made quite a few good games, I believe. Okay, this game is about this fictional story, which could have happened during World War II in 1941 on the Eastern Front. Da -da -da, fictional, any resemblance, accidental. Basic disclaimer. Thank you for playing our game. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. I have a half orc ranger on D&D Online. Okay, I believe mine is a drow rogue. Very original, of course. But yeah, this game is Partisans 1941, which, well, we've played a few games similar to this. So let's start a new game. Uh, let's see. Enemy and partisan health is very low. Every combat is a serious challenge. Dogs are very dangerous. Recommended difficulty for the play first playthrough. Always nice when they mark one for that. Wounded partisans can die if they don't get treatment in time. Saving during missions is blocked. Tactical mode doesn't slow time. So very obvious what we're going for. Okay. 22 июня 1941 года в 4 часа утра без всякого объявления войны германские вооруженные силы атаковали границы Советского Союза. Началась Великая Отечественная война советского народа против немецко-фашистских захватчиков. В первые месяцы боевых действий советские войска понесли катастрофические потери. Под натиском опытного противника, закаленного сражениями в Европе, Красная Армия была вынуждена отступать вглубь страны. Захватчики стремительно продвигались вперед, сравнивая с землей города и сжигая деревни. Пали Минск, Смоленск, Новгород. Бомбардировкам подверглись Киев, Севастополь. Под угрозой оказались Ленинград и Москва. Тысячи советских бойцов оказались в котлах, в том числе командир роты капитан Зорин. При попытке выйти из окружения он был взят в плен и доставлен в ближайший дулак. Из пересыльного лагеря его должны были отправить в место постоянного содержания. Понимая, что для него и товарищи это будет дорога в один конец, он начал готовить восстание, но фашисты об этом прознали. That's shit luck. Let's see. Niven's skill hand is a swift and certain death for any enemy if you can sneak upon your prey from behind. Okay. Already a plus point that we can finish these loading screens when we want, or we can move on from them when we want. I've said that multiple times. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Uh, okay. What? That was weird. Okay, I like this. They actually talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Was für ein Schwachsinn. Bringt ihn nach draußen zur Exekution. So gut wie erledigt, Herr Kommandant. 
Okay, I like that they have the interpreter actually translating it. <laughs> you can hear two voices start up. Halt. Давай, гад. Стреляй. Нас 170 миллионов. Все равно всех не перестреляете. I'm so fucking annoying. Тревога? Наверное, старшина поднял бунт. А жаль, я не с ними. Придется бежать в одиночку. Винтовку не взять, руки связаны. Попробую пройти вдоль забора, пока охранники отвлеклись. Yeah. And I think this is starting to be, look a bit familiar. What the heck? What? Hi. What is. Oh. Okay, this. Huh? It's, it's making screenshots for some reason, but I'm not pressing any buttons that should do that. And it's just. The, the pop up for the screenshots gets hijacked <laughs> or by the screen capture. That's just weird as all hell. Okay. That might be a, a, a bit of against this game almost right away, but that um, kind of gives me red flags warning. Let's see. Yeah. Left mouse button to move, right mouse button to cancel. WSD to move the camera, rotate with Q and E, same as before. Let me actually... Let's, no, not restart. Settings. Control. Is there anything here about screenshots? Because if we just disable that... Hmm. Let's see, English... Voiceover language... Okay, we can actually... Oh, we can actually change that. Uh, let's see... Yeah, let's do that. Th 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 if we were to stream this, we will probably go through full English for the ease of things. Hmm. Let's see, let me actually... And also, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it looks like it only appears when it's supposed to do a load thing or something. Maybe. I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm going to change to a window capture, which hopefully should not catch whatever that does. Okay, there. Uh, okay. Then I just paste the transform onto there. Uh, with my... Um... Okay. I don't think this is how it's supposed to be. And it doesn't seem to be fully working, or unless it's because they are both things are trying to draw from the. I do okay. see something from audio mix content. I, my helmet is hidden. Yeah, th this isn't working for some reason. Let me. Maybe if I reselect it. Uh, audio mixer, partisans. No, it's for some reason stuck on that. Okay. Well then, that's not going to work. I'll have to. I'll have to look into this more. But yeah, if it wasn't clear already, this game is very much like Commandos because it's another real-time tactics game. And I accidentally skipped whatever that was. Okay. It was probably talking about sprinting by, by double clicking or such. And yeah, here we have the classic vision cones. Oh dear. I do hope they always speak English, but that just means. Well, we, we won't need to read it out loud at all. It's... They will do it for us in the right language. Okay, we can just click with the right mouse button on them to uh, get their vision cones. As you can see, right lies more of a, the preferred language, I should probably say. Yeah. Let's see. You can quick save your game by pressing F5 if you want to quick load. Good thing that they pointed out, because saves coming is quite kind of required in this type of game. Because you're going to screw up sooner or later, and you are going to be kicked to the front of the, to the start of the level when that happens. Yeah. And Something we experienced a lot in a certain game. What was it called again? 
Okay, why does it... Hmm, why does it keep making those I, I, screenshots? I, I, I just know... Uh, you, you, gun, you may need to censor this. Hmm? That's not something I think it's uh, possibly a privacy issue. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have to blur out those pop-ups of that. Since it shows the so, file locations and such. That's still screen actually, key. Actually, that might actually be a big red flag from, I guess, even streaming it. Unless we can figure out to make it stop doing that. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. So, why does it keep making these screenshots? Or, oh, it wait. Auto save. It, okay, that's what that is. Okay. But why is it making screenshots when it's auto saving? Oh, right. To, to have a picture on the saves. Uh, That's a badly designed version. I, I think games do that. I, I don't get why it's hooking onto matter. that. Let's see. There has to be somewhere. Actually, let's go back. Uh, quit real quick. Is there a way? Actually, no, there's, there's no custom stuff. So we can't turn off the auto saves, I'm guessing. Or is there somewhere for that? It's quick save, quick load. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay that is just thing weird. Can... Yeah, here's me. I'm gonna be found the way to get the preferred language, but this is um, such a big red flag that I may sorry to say this. We should probably not stream this at all, unless we can figure out a way to make it not do that. What did I miss? Uh, 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 for some reason, this game decides to have pop-ups uh, on the desktop whenever it autosaves, and for some reason, OBS's game capture just hijacks that instead. So let me just uh, show you for a second. it sec. shows private information. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. What? Uh, but... Uh, Windows there, yes. Okay, return that to normal. Actually, if I do windowed full screen and this, it does it turn white? Nope. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so, windowed oh, no, full no, no, screen. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. There you go. Now it's better. Uh, yeah, hold on a sec. There. It. Yeah, I, feel, I didn't everything. click yeah. the button in time. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it showing white now? It's show normal now. Normal. Okay. Then let's do a quick load. And yeah, it's making these screenshots for these. Now, if I load to this. And if I, let's see. Okay, this fixes it, but it does block sight of everything outside of the game for me, which isn't too big of a thing since I can see chat up there. And most of the stuff is a bit super you know, with this. Uh, not really needed. Uh, yeah, this could work as a workaround of this at least. Unless it still <clears> happens. Now it's, if it would have happened, it would have happened when I did this because of the screenshot it would make. Okay. Okay, so we have found a workaround. That's good. You still yeah. don't need to censor this video. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Also, Glacier Boy, I'll hit you up in game sometime. I'll after the stream, I'll start up the game and send and my name to you or my character's name to you in a DM. Uh, you are on the server, right? The Discord. Let's see. Uh, I think the game is trying to dox you. <laughs> let's see. Using the environment, you can use certain objects in your environment to hide from enemies. Use the cellar by clicking on it with the left mouse button to escape the patrolling enemy's gaze. Okay, right mouse button to exit. Uh, alt to highlight interactables. Also very nice. Okay. Wait, I just realized something. Hello, Rom! <laughs> yeah, hello, hey, Rom. Yeah, you doing well? Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, you, you just popped in on the yeah. inconvenient time. Yeah, uh, uh, dumb. Question: Have any of you have noticed that the Command and Conquer, the Ultimate Collection, doesn't seem to have a price on it outside of the EA Play section? 
Yeah, I can't say I ha have noticed that. I did. I was even unaware of that. Nope. Oh yeah, welcome to Partisans 1941, which is, well, a game where you play Partisans in Soviet Russia. Findet und erschießt die Flüchtigen, es darf niemand entkommen. Zu Befehl. Soldaten, mitkommt. Okay, for the... <laughs> for the Nazis, it's still going to play... The... Oh. oh, okay. The, uh, the voiceover audio must have also been reset with this. Uh, sounds... Uh, yeah, their voiceover English. Why is there Chinese as well here? Yeah, probably because Chinese is big markets. Okay, there. Uh, hide indication of interact what? Yeah, let's leave that off. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, this game is basically commandos, but on the other side of the war. And you're playing partisans instead of commandos. It's container looting. Okay, yeah. Knife. Nice that they say multiple ways of getting it by just dragging it over, double clicking, or just grab all. Okay, inventory system. Okay. There. Okay. This game is a well lot done. more recent Annoyed. than Commando, so it has a lot more complexity. Oh, get back, you fool. Okay. This one first. Stealth killing. Stealthy takedowns allow you to quickly kill your target. However, your prey will resist for a short while, producing noise that can be heard by other enemies. Okay. You can hide enemy corpses using environmental objects to keep them from being found. Okay. Pick you up. Uh, pick you up, yep. And just shove you in the shitter. Okay. Quiet. Enemies can't see you while you're moving through bushes. Sneak into the next yard using bushes. Okay. Enemies can't see a bush, you know, can't see a corpse in the bushes unless they walk into it. Use this to avoid being caught. Okay. Unless they walk into it. So if they are chasing you or looking for you, they can find them. They, you know, they can stumble upon corpses. Why are you getting... Okay, he was probably hearing the rustling. That nice little detail. Okay, let's just get over here. Oh, it's actually... I missed one over there. Let's go back for a bit. <laughs> oh, dear. It was so well hidden in the bushes that I, even I didn't notice. Yep, noise in bushes. Moving through bushes creates noise that can cause nearby enemies to become suspicious. If your plan was to remain undetected, wait for their suspicion level to decrease before carrying on. Okay. And yeah, the, the typical alert bar. Let's see. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Yes, I'm on the server. Time to learn Russian and German, uh, I guess. Hill, don't forget the other question mark. You can't say you didn't spot it. <laughs> okay, I was just distracted by this one, but yeah, it's just probably going to be yeah, jumping over fences for shortcuts. Okay. Oh dear. The only interactable Damn. here is there. Let's see, what's this? Skill tree. Your character gained a new level and a skill point. You can spend it in your skill tree. Okay. To learn higher level skills, you need to learn three skills from the previous tier. Okay. There. And let's see. Commander Zorin. Oh, oh there's, yeah, there's entire blast of trees here. Let's see. But we only have melee at the moment. Let's see. Knife throwing. Partisan throws a knife and suddenly kills an enemy. Throw knife can be picked up and used again later. And we also have melee one, allows you to kill low rank enemies faster while in stealth. Win chance during melee fighting is increased. Win chance. Yeah, that's going to be 
<laughs> there's going to be random or percentage chances in this. If you have the skill, your crit partisan will have a low effect on global map, ac map activity success chances. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> it's an easy guess which we're going for. Oh dear. Oh, uh, Foods. Uh, are you there, Rob? Yeah, I'm okay. here. Uh, are you uh, busy late today? Uh, not really. I'm not busy. Fine. Uh, because well, we could try for the LA Noir again. Yeah, let's go for it. I actually managed to have a sleep cycle that made me wake up in the morning and actually sleep most of the night, so I might be able to pull it off. Okay, so as long as well, there's no uh, southern grocery shopping required. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Enemies traveling alone can be easily neutralized or distracted. It's much harder if you meet a group of enemies. Try not to let them see you. Okay. I'm on it. One down. <laughs> oh, he does make a lot more noise when he falls, though. So... That is a uh, those, that is a downside. Yeah, it does actually make sense. Yeah, since if you're killing them in melee, you're you're drop you're guiding the body down. Let's see ability distance. Some of your partisans' abilities can be used at a distance. The icon ability icon shows the exact location where the ability will be used. Okay. I just. Realize another way you can make sounds where you throw out a knife at someone. Hey. Like, if you don't hit a instant kill area on the body, they will probably feel the knife and scream. Yeah. Okay, I didn't think he would move around or turn around. Probably should have kept it in mind. <laughs> there, okay. take all if of that. Think about it. Knife throwing is not the. the it's not an easy, good assassination weapon style. It's actually harder, it seems, besides yes. throwing. You need to know where you throw it. Yeah, and there's also just the chance of that you hit with the blunt end of the thing. Yeah. Okay, just pick so, him up. Yeah, it's actually, uh, surprisingly, a lot of things that go wrong. Glacier boy, uh, yay, more X to doubting. <laughs> oh, they, they've been loving to do that meme, I'm not kidding. Every time we talk about uh, with Glacier boy, about us supposed to be streaming L.A. Noir, they always show the damn same gif. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just gonna wait for him to turn around. Attack. Okay, I did not expect him to actually move forwards. Even further. Uh, the enemy's near. It looked like the bullet went through the ear and the other end. <laughs> yeah, yep. Dude, that bullet would kill you if that happened. Okay, the icon on the bar... The, the... <clears throat> Where the icon of the action is on the bar shows how much reach it has. Okay. There. Also, yep. Striped body means hidden body. Okay. Anyone here? Yes. Okay. Quiet. Okay. Don't let me down. How many more there of you go. Are there? Thanks okay. for Good for quick takedowns, but not for uh, anyone near anyone else. Okay. And yeah, let's just vanish into the woods. Okay, we should probably avoid being seen by that. Time truck. Or we can steal it, maybe. Uh, wait. Oh, gosh, I think I just unlocked a childhood memory. Oh. 
I think we actually, as kids, call them tent dealer or tent trucks. Okay. Mostly because it looks like it has a tent on its back. Oh, bunch of rocks. Stone throwing. Stone throwing is a very simple and effective way to draw enemy attention. Yeah. Actually, that probably, depending on the size of the stone, that could probably be a very good assassination weapon if you are very good at aiming at the head. Yeah. Before the face. Okay, we can equip that as a tool. Question about Command and Conquer thing is that I don't want to pay money for a fucking EA pay, EA play. But at the same time, just buying the game normally doesn't seem to have a price tag, so I'm just confused. Hey, it might on. be a trick. Get up. It probably is. The, forest. the problem is, this is about the only way I can find to play like too much. the other Command and Conquer. I got like the first, run. the remaster run for, for Command and Conquer One and Red Alert, and I got run? Command and Conquer Three you don't leave and Red behind. Alert Three. I can carry you. Hmm. And I kind of want to play the rest of the game. But yeah, where, where are you seeing it then, that it doesn't have a price on Steam or something? No, it's not on Steam. It's on the EA app, formerly known as Origin. In fact, it had a price in Origin, but it no longer has one now that it's the EA app. We'll find a safe place and dress your wounds. Okay, that does sound like it's a subscription-only thing now. How far out is it? I won't be able to carry him through the woodland and swamps. Especially since I can, since can originally I island. could buy fucking he won't betray you. bad company right. back we'll in, but now I can no longer buy it on Steam. Okay. And that's the level done, and that was the timer going off. Yeah, okay. and we heard him speak English. Yeah. Okay. That is good. So, I can't see you streaming this now. Once now we finally got it around this. Yeah, still going we... to put up a little search here on why the hell OBS latches onto that instead. Uh, let's see, OBS parted since 1941, but we do know how to work around it now. Yeah, it could be something how they pro program the game and it uh, had an unexpected <laughs> effect on OBS. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's counting the pop-up as an overlay of sorts, but since it's happening outside the game, it just freaks out. But yeah, oh, anyways... Oh, next game. You. Uh, yeah. PC building simulator. I see a little bit of this, and I and basically watched five minutes and then I just came out. I just wondered why. I'm... Funny thing is, I actually did take a class in PC building, and they used this game as the sort of visual example on how to do it. Okay. okay. Like, in that way, acknowledge the fact that there's a but there's a part there's like. It doesn't show everything, but as a deep, but as a basic understanding, it's like it works like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can respect it. Yes, yeah. I don't. I don't see why you would make a YouTube series of this. Yeah, because people will watch anything, and plus, this game is sort of useful in well, trying to figure out what parts go together, because that can be another bitch. Like if you're. My graphics card doesn't fit on your motherboard and such, and your RAM doesn't fit. I think it, I think I mostly got this game on sale just to see, uh, just so I could use it to see what parts can connect with the what and such. <laughs> oh, there. Uh, okay, look, loud, my, the loud bikes going around outside. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy, as for the, uh, the, the throwing weapon discussion, I'd say a throwing axe is better than a throwing knife, as it has more weight to it and making it more likely to cause damage. That as well, yeah? Plus, likely. even if, yeah, that's going to hurt no matter what part hits. 
yeah, more likely to do a hopefully a instant kill uh, blow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do a, a short bit on this and then we'll move on to the next game. Because there's just so many of these simulator games of just about every fucking thing that you can possibly do that the market, in my opinion, is rather oversaturated. Oh no. It's very oversaturated. Oh no, it's... now you make me worry for what they are about there. It, it's, it's like that. Like. Is that, is that an app for that joke that drives me insane? Could be. It's... Thanks for taking over the PC shop for me, sir. It's not in a better state. A few things. Actually, let's first do something because this music is a bit loud. It's so loud, in fact, that it's getting limited by OBS. There we go. That's better. Okay, a few things. The company isn't doing very well and there's no money in the bank account. Thanks. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget, and the PCs overheat. So if you think you're all set up... Yep, so, uh, so I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. Okay, virus scan. Okay. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual, and I think it might have. I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Okay. Uh, okay. That's all of stuff that means nothing to me. Okay. Oop. We instantly get teleported to... Okay. Pick up. And we put it down here. Okay, this is the scanning table. Let's see, Glacier. It's gotten so bad that there may be a simulator game about making simulator games would not surprise me. Okay. I would not be surprised if there are similar games about making toasters, <laughs> dildos, sandwiches, all sorts uh, of random things. Let's see. Plug the PC in. For this job, you need to run a virus scan. Press 3 or the cable option and plug the monitor, keyboard, um, mouse, and power into the back of the PC. I don't see why all of that needs to be done, since we only really. Oh, oh it's just. Okay, this. Really just the monitor, you need to connect it yeah. so you can know what's going on. I, I, you'd think you'd have a, a base com computer set up for this sort of scanning already, and of, of course one of... <laughs> okay, I thought it was a USB, not a, a, a wireless USB. Or, let's see. Now you need to put your USB drive in the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. Okay. I just realized this game is outdated by now. Probably. Uh, there. Now press P or power button to turn the PC on. Okay. Uh, where is the power button? Yeah, there it is. Okay. On. And how do we... There we do. Okay. And remove programs. Virus scanner. Of course it starts to slow down towards the end. Okay, restart. Yes. Always keep your virus scanners up to date, people, and run them at least monthly, maybe even weekly. Okay. Virus scanner, start scanning. Also, be. Uh, 285 files. Okay. We have removed all the viruses, and the PC is ready to be returned to the uh, client. Okay. There. Okay, collect your rewards. Okay. Yeah, simple enough. Uh, collect. There. Collect. Okay, completed your first job. Well done. Come back tomorrow to see if there are any some more jobs. Okay. Oh, okay. So you are you do have time progression in this, it seems. And uh, that's our inventory. If you're <laughs> Why is there an SNES here? <laughs> Actually, that looks more like a weird mix between an SNES and an NES. Okay. This would be a custom-made one, but yeah. Oh. People will go to some other people, uh, computer experts with those at times, for some computer is, has all skill enough to repair those. 
I mean, Game Brawl does have a Nintendo toaster. Go to yeah, work. that as well. Great. And she must own 25% of the company to change his name. Aren't we the only owners or something, Nile? I, I do like that there's actually a bit of time progression in this, and that's a lot of jobs all of a sudden. Uh, I, I only want to do a Switch game, but I, I'm not feeling this game at all. Yeah. Like I said, I got this mostly just to be able to double check if some of the parts I would get for you know, my PC would actually work or not. But there's actually a similar way by that with PCBenchmark.com. So that doesn't always work. Anyways, yeah. Command and Conquer. <laughs> okay. I'm not Moving on surprised to the next game. is gonna adopt a policy of not uh, buying anything from EA or something. That is fair. Uh, no we'll have to has. see about that. Ooh. Okay. Takes a few seconds for OBS to hook into the program. And yeah, this will be our okay. fifth and likely last game of the day, Phantom Doctrine. I played this. It's basically by XCOM. <laughs> yeah, Cold War XCOM. But with a bit more, let's see. Regular... Okay. It comes here. Hmm. Play a more in-depth version of the story and get to the bottom of things. Okay. Seems we can't even click that at the moment. Okay, full gameplay functionality, game. or does that come up? Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing this is more for a second playthrough then, or something? Okay. Probably. Yeah, th this, since it's a Cold War era game, it, there's going to be a lot of intrigue. So, yeah, let's start on easy with the tutorial and have all the subtitles on. Oh, hello. Different backgrounds featured separate openings with different tactical missions, objectives, and a different perspective on the opening of the story of Phantom Doctrine. Feel free to start with either. Okay, complete at least one playthrough to unlock this background. Okay. So we have CIA, codename Deadpan, KGB, codename Kodiak. Let's just go with the CIA. And just hit a random one here. Randomize that. Roger Adams. Okay. Uh, okay, it made a nice enough approximation. Hair color is off, but oh well. I just realized we could have done. Mm -hmm. we, we could just have named them Ron or someone else. <laughs> okay, just start game. And let's see, the events we are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable re records have been marked with the specific date they are, are they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. Hello. Maybe I can find the eBay. <laughs> the Hello. This is Golf Yankee Juliet Uniform, reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror, Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Magazet your shifrovko. A bistie. Nimedlina must watch Moscow. Nimedlina. Spy stuff doing spy stuff. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. 
Traitors. Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. The fuck is that guy dressed in? He looks like a 60s clown. In, this, in the 60s? Yeah, probably more the 50s, but 60s probably also. Let's see. Operation Threshold. Invasion of Granada. Uh, also, let's see. Glacier Boy, you should always ask for consent when inserting your USB into ports. And don't just... St if you find a USB just randomly somewhere, do not put it in your computer. Because it's far more likely to hold viruses and such. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's see. High value cargo hijacked by British. Agent Kingfish to redeploy in UK. Run in recovery ops. Phase one. Enter British sector in FRG. Collect necessary forms from secured location. Activate sleeper assets. Rook. Further orders to be disclosed in due course. Okay. Reach the sleeper agent. Activate his control phrase. Steal shipping manifests. Evacuate on the other side of the border. Okay. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Okay. We're in occupied Germany. Yeah, we're at the freaking wall, it seems. Let's see. Who could forget that handsome face? Okay, let's see. An infiltration stage. Guards will only react if you do something suspicious. Move to the indicated position with wise mouths. You're safe for now. Okay. And glacier board. Yeah, unless it's a free hand... Uh, unless it's a free hard drive on the streets, those you take to computer store to be checked out before you bring it home. <laughs> we in a sorts car, he has for papers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Most Go actions got circle. action points. The turf, full act, some actions, especially combat related, also uh, cost fire points. Phantom Doctrine is a turn based game, so when all your agents and points are depleted, end your turn. Okay. Movement used up. Mm. And turn. Hell are you on? Okay, be extra careful when entering a restricted area, a red zone. If a guard sees you, he'll call the alarm. Okay, we can move here. Okay, skip the rest of the turn and the guard will continue his patrol. Move the cursor over a character to review their... Okay. To review their patrol path. Okay, that is nice. Also, pretty much required for stealth games, isometric stealth games like this. I sincerely doubt that. Okay. Be careful of where we're going. Oop. Avoid cameras. They will trigger the alarm if you cross their cone of vision. Cameras can be disabled if you find a CCTV central unit. Which is this, likely. Okay. Let's move into position. Yep. Yep, come on. Why are you not moving? Left click to activate. Okay, that's a flop that's a gap in the tutorial. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can Okay, I myself. I've heard good about this game, but also some bad things. Okay. Oh. And that a lot of things can get repetitive. Okay, enter the main ah. building. Well, well repetitive is better than uh, Uh, hey, I'm the bugs. Let's see. Takes control over an enemy agent subjected to control phrase. Okay. A sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere. 
Go up the stairs, use mouse wheel to change floors, and then... Okay. So now what? we have Rook. Okay. So yeah, very uh, <laughs> paranoid stuff. Let's see. Guards can be taken down silently. Take down... Yeah. Yep. All characters have a certain level of awareness. By, it is used by selecting uh, actions. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge a shot, uh, dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn and can be raised by abilities and items. Okay, so those are resources for both well, defense and offense. Okay. Use spotter support to lift fog of war and reveal enemies and civilians inside the indicated room. Note that the support agents operate from a specific direction and must have line of sight slash fire to target to be effective. Okay. Tactical spotter from the east. Okay. Need to get a good angle. Confirm. No kicking the documents, but we'll have to preach okay. for them. Don't Place your in. Okay. Kingfish, you come up as well. Okay. Select the breach ability, select the marked room for attack and confirm. Breach confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Okay. Yep. Confirm. They all act, and they all... Okay. Note that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers the alarm and starts combats. Oops. <laughs> so, they're all coming, going to come running. I misheard you. What did you hear, then? I thought you said non-suppression weapon. Okay. As in nuns. No, uh, that you get that you would get if you gave a, a non a silencer. Okay. I think I just gave a lot of sister of battle fans a new yoke to, to weaponize. <laughs> okay. Let's take a okay, we can't Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Evac takes two turns to arrive. Set up Overwatch to guard the room. Okay, that, that basically means he's just aiming that way. Okay, move the other agent to the window. Set up Overwatch outside. Note that long range Overwatch has a conical area of effect and as opposed to the circular short range Overwatch. Okay. I just realized. I think I just forgot what su suppression means. <laughs> okay. This is not the adaptive sword or a thousand to care. Painfully? Find up with something like that in this world. We're all kind of screwed. Yeah, like, I, I don't find the season of Thugs cool, but I'm well aware of their. Yeah. Um, Fanaticism. Yeah. For one FP and one AP, you can use the full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. Okay. So basically, oh. damage versus awareness. Phantom Doctrine has no random chance to hit, but attack can deal varying amounts of damage presented as follows: maximum damage, minimum damage. Okay, so everything is going to hit no matter what, as long as it's in range, I'm presuming. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks, provided they aren't at a point-blank range. Dodging costs awareness. The dodge attack deals minimal damage, else maximum damage. Okay, it's one or the other. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. Note, in infiltration at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always at zero, except for enemy agents who start with full awareness. Okay, so basically a surprise round. All right. You move over there. Don't break your legs. 
Move to ground level and hide behind full cover. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. Okay, headshots. And just instantly gone. Okay. Which, well, makes sense. A freaking revolver round to the skull is not going to leave much space for, well, future thinking. <laughs> it is going to leave lots of space for air. Though you, that's typically not wanted in there. Okay. Oh dear. I think you want to read the chats. Uh, Glacier Boy, they are the private army of the Ecclesiarchy. Fanaticism is a job requirement. Yeah. Okay. When the evac compromised timer elapses, you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Note, however, that it does not affect mission score, uh, success or failure. Okay. What, that? That's what kind of? To know. What kind of penalty does that mean? Hmm. Evacuate there. GTFO. So, Kingface is off the hook. It's weird, does he look a bit too... almost... almost like Walter White? <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, he kind of does look like Walter White. Let's see. Yeah. Unsanctioned raid Whitefish. We've arrived in Pakistan to check up on their alleged nuclear program. We enter the mission area in disguise, but it isn't foolproof. Keep clear of high-ranking Pakistani troops. Do not engage unless they fire first. Confirm the existence of the fission device. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon? Then evacuate before they know we were even here. Okay. Uh, let's see in chat. It's an unfortunate side effect of getting ahead of yourself, alien. <laughs> okay, six weeks earlier. I think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit. Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. Brown Hills Air Force Base, March 11th, okay. Just past midnight. Well, now we know the year. Keep the comms to a minimum. This guy is pretty thin as it is. What if Leslie calls? Well, I don't think he'll be joining us on this one. He's on the move. Okay. The, the dialogue is a bit uh, mismatched in the volume. Like some some people are a lot softer than others. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah. This agent is disguised and can safely go anywhere without raising alarm. Suspicious actions witnessed by enemies or civilians will trigger combat. Enemy agents always see through the vi in disguise. Okay. Uh, reach the sealed off area, which is all the way over there. Okay. None of this is red. So we aren't trespassing. Laser barriers. There's definitely something valuable. Okay. I'm guessing Deadpan is our captain character. Basically, if he dies, then things are over, I'm guessing. That's why he has the bloody star and the yellow name. Okay. Okay, we want to go in there, but first we need to here. go here and turn that off. Let's see, can we even get there? Let's see, there's a door over here. Can I just tell you to walk over? Oh, wait, good. And turn first. <laughs> I'm being dumb. Okay, you stroll on in. Anyone in here? Yes, there is. Okay. Something important there. No. Yeah. You go over there. And you actually 
Yeah, you can't come in, but you can follow at least. Actually, no, there was their, their first movement ability. Yep, yeah, movement points there. I like that for, for the first bit they walk, but for the second they run. Okay. I'm guessing we need going... Oh, someone else here that I completely overlooked. Okay, can we just interact with this? Yeah, I think we're going to need to take these people down. Let's see. Focus, stabilize, pick up agents, take down. Okay, takes one fire point and 50 awareness. Okay. Uh, you get into position here. You have to take these two down at the same time. Uh -huh. Keep. In there. <laughs> Just you don't chop them down. Okay, you get that. We probably could have waited for them to move around a bunch. But oh well. You just head on in for the moment. Let's see, this isn't restricted yet. Okay, Castaneda, collect that, please. Well, we're looking for the reactor. No luck. Traces everywhere, though. Okay. A million dollar yacht. Not big deal. Okay, let's not jump through the freaking window. I sense my cheesiness. Let's see. Collect additional in intel. Breaching the bunker recommended. Optional. Okay. Yeah. Durant. Uh, you keep on moving up around a bit. There's a camera there we'll want to avoid. Head on over there. Don't go in yet. Just wait for the rest to catch up. What do you require? Okay. The end turn. Okay. You two continue to catch up. Okay, I see now. Two move points, one fire point. Mm. Or action. Let's open this up. Hello. Uh, just moving up a bit. What? Just another. Oh, there's something there. But we need to go all the way back around. Okay, I do believe it is recommended to get these documents since it'll help you, well, get intel and such. Okay. I can see they yep. helping you in the future and all. Let's not jump through windows, that is going to be very suspicious. Yeah. Though I'm not the even sure if we could jump through those. Water. Why is yeah. that employee getting through the window? Uh, we're not we're not here disguised as uh, employees, we're, we're in totally the inspectors. Device. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fishing device. And the chest is empty. Get out now. Uh, we'll save some leg and jump over the wall from the roof here. Bolt? I heard you. Activate your beacon now. We'll meet you at the LZ. Okay, let's actually not do that just yet, because I want to find some of the other intel around here. I'm gonna guess LC means landing zone? Yep. Yes. One, two, three, one. Two, three. There's just something in there. We can hear loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, sorry. 
jump the window or jump the wall where? Okay, hmm. gimme. Classified documents, restricted documents, okay. And what the hell? We're going to be jumping out here anyways. Uh, you are closer. Move up. Of course. Let's see. Hmm. There's something to collect here, but it's right underneath the camera, so that would be a bad idea to uh, try. Uh, Durant. Sorry, is there a way to collect the power? I'm taking a look around. If there is, it's not immediately visible. Also, where... Jump the wall where? Yeah. Hmm. Why is there so much paper fl flying about here? Sandstorm. Sandstorm yeah. paper, though? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. I th yeah, I'm just going to call for evacuate. Okay, that's going to be over there. So, okay, we can get up here. There's a lower section of the wall here. Okay. Let's not get... Let's not call evacuation just yet. And first, just get everyone together. Okay. Okay, and turn. The moment that we call for evacuation... Oops. That just happens. Okay, that can't be good. <laughs> okay, now let's call for evac. Oh, okay. It, it takes a different amount of time each time. Or it can take a different amount of time. But still okay. good to be prepared and ready for it. Yeah. Okay, Durand, you can go ahead. And the timer also, is almost down. What, why is there even a gap here in the wall? That's all. <laughs> it's dumb. Though, considering how windy it is here, I... Oh, it's mostly a fence. I guess the, they had a storm that blew that part up away. <laughs> I think it's just a bit of laziness. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not a fence. Timer... Yeah, it could be that oh, it got it's torn fenced. down or something. Or someone was just an idiot. Anyways, let's... The timer just went off, but let's finish this. Uh, and then we'll see. There is one more bit about this game that I would like to show a little bit of. If we get to it. Um, because those secret documents and such... Well, we got to actually play around with those, looking for connections and everything, aka the uh, stereotypical red wi red wire board stuff. Oh no! I trust this is important. Okay, and turn. Must be some people wondering why the inspectors or secure or whatever were disguised as. Uh, <laughs> are just standing out in the open. And they'll figure it out in just this second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not so discreet. Okay. Look at the fuck in. Hmm. 
Okay, second so objective, one of two. All left with the Oh, we missed equipment and half of the classified documents. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, he's just a showcase anyway. Yeah. Uh, Leslie, my mentor, asked me to investigate rumors of nuclear research in Pakistan. During our incursion, we witnessed a cold test of a, few, you know, of a fission device, which means the Pakistani are at most months away from gaining nuclear capa uh, capa uh, capability. Somebody had to sell them the technology. Okay. No loots. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. On the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadman, uh, I regret to inform you an, an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure, but my money is on the allegation of an, an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Leslie isn't your handler anymore. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that and you'll lose the squad. Fender out. Okay, sounds like we've already gone a bit rogue then. Uh, let's see, managing your espionage network is all about deciding who goes where and when. Enemy agents are conducting operations with more or less dire consequences. Your job is to find them, assess the danger, and decide whether to stop them or conserve your resources. Every job and every assignment takes time to complete. While you are in a, <clears throat> while you are in hideout, time is paused. You can only activate it from the world map screen. When time flows, your assignments and jobs progress, but so does enemy activity. Okay. And here we are. You want to go through a quick investigation board tutorial? Uh, yeah. Here is the, the red wire board stuff. Okay. Oh, no. And I make two remaining connections. Uh, yeah. Basically, you have to investigate stuff. Uh, go through things that have, well, connections and, well, actually connect them let's see. okay it would be nice if it said oh right the, the it brings out a bunch of keywords on each of these after you've gotten through them so you can link them together like this one has constable one larry mcdonald cover girl oh here we have a, a photo of a larry mcdonald Additional intel is obtained from informers interrogation and during chat commissions among others in this tutorial you'll get it for free Okay, new intel. Some intel requires additional analysis. analysis. Open it. Okay. Figure out the keywords from the context of the sentences. Look for code names for agents, places, and organizations. Here we have Aguirre. Not Toby Aguirre. <laughs> now find the other two keywords. Uh, state border. Mm -hmm. Cover girl. Even if your intro is about Big Daddy, okay. Okay, make two remaining connections. Uh, Cover Girl is connected to this. And let's see, make the final connection Aguirre. Uh, okay, that's a code name. And we link that. And now we can identify Larry McDonald as Aguirre. I presume that's what that is. Okay. But yeah. That'll be it for this game and for this showcase. A bit of a slower one, <laughs> but still went well, I'd say. So let's summarize. Papers, please. Maybe we could stream that on easy mode because just with half an hour of it, we were already struggling, or I was already struggling to be more precise. <laughs> Same, I was also struggling. I also made some mistakes there. Yeah. Pathfinder. I haven't seen it in a while. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I I sort of want to stream that, but it could just go on forever and ever. So yeah, maybe say, we can put that in a list together with Persona 5 as an eventual. Yeah, or well, maybe... Basically, it's a maybe until further investigation. Actually, we can do a bit of that right now. Let's see how long to beat. This doesn't give a fully accurate a number, of course, but it gives a bit of a a feel for how long a game might be. Let's see. Pathfinder. Wrath. That should bring it up. Let's see. 52, 54 hours for main story. Uh, oh. <laughs> so that would be about 20... Somewhere between 20 and 30 uh, streams. 
going with a bit of leeway. So, uh, yeah, he might as well just look at Persona 5 as well here. Holy. 97 and a half hours, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, so if, if we do either of those, I suggest we do them as specials of sort, like we do four-hour streams or something, or maybe more for yeah. YouTube. And we just edit things down a bunch. <laughs> no. You will lose a lot of comedy and story context while editing out those, them, those games. So no... You would probably want to have long streams, but we, we probably end up doing them in seasons, if that makes sense. Yeah, probably once uh, a week or something. Maybe we can put it on one of the weekdays. And uh, instead of doing two two-hour streams, we do one four-hour stream or something. Yeah, hmm. and also, again, like, you know, like... Ten episodes, then a break, then ten episodes again, something like that. <laughs> Okay, next up we have Pardonsons 1941. How long to beat sets that at about 18 hours, but it's not tested as much, so it could be a lot more variation in that. Uh, I still, I'm curious about playing that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm okay with Pardonson, as long as we make sure it doesn't do what it did again, yeah. but that was a very big red flag. <laughs> Okay, and next up we have PC Building Simulator. Uh, that's no. probably going to just be a no. No. Maybe just no. a chill stream sometime, but probably never no. again after that. <laughs> no. Okay. And then last but not least... For, so what the, <clears throat> sorry. So what Drakir is saying is we should stream it. <laughs> Wrong. Look at me and look at you. Yes. What do I have that you don't? A helmet. Exactly. And what can I do with a helmet? Take a hit to the head. Well, I can, but you sure can't. Come here! <laughs> okay, that was me. I was not the one clicking it. He just beat me to it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Phantom Doctrine, which, again, I'm going to put as a maybe lean to yes. The thing is that it's an it's an XCOM-like, so it is going to be very slow in a lot of things and very repetitive on some others. But I am interested in its story and such. Let me actually... Yeah, actually, here's me. Ain't XCOM-likes actually all, in a way, repetitive? Uh, yeah, it's more... It's more the, uh, what is the word, attrition per each battle than the overall fight going in each of those fights. Because in every battle, you're either going to yeah, contribute positively or negatively to your war that is going on with everything. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll put that as a maybe. So uh, <laughs> just one no and a bunch of maybes, it seems today, huh? Oh, yeah. A lot of maybes. Okay. That's true. Uh, well, that's going to happen when you just try games out. Some are, not, some are just not going to work. I'm probably going to play some of these on my own at the very least, like Phantom Doctrine. That'll probably help with... Uh, hmm. Would it be good if I were to play that on my own first and then just showcase... You know, just then stream it afterwards if I... Uh, if I find it to be good enough to be streamed, then... that That's okay for... Let's be honest, you will probably forget most of the game. True. <laughs> but you also will remember... Things that would probably otherwise just... Drag it out unnecessarily and just be able to... Yeah, get it out smoothly. Okay. <clears throat> for some reason, my stomach is starting to act up a bit. <clears throat> But yeah, I except for Partisans 1941, that's going to be maybes with no on PC Builder. <clears throat> and yeah, let's go look for someone to rate then, shall we? Somebody yep. the David Cage game in uh, GOG. Hmm? 
It's that Beyond Two Souls game. Okay, I, I think part of your first sentence got cut off. So, what were you trying to say? Somebody put a, a David Cage game on GOG. Okay. Hmm. All Anyways. right. Let's have a look. We have Redacted Cats, who is going to be streaming Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Let me double check that every yeah, the, ser the browser is muted, so we can take a peek. I think they just started. Oh. Yeah, just four minutes in. Uh, Hisairus here is playing Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Sour Walrus is playing Lies of Pi. Kirino Tsuyoko is playing Clone Hero, aka the Guitar Hero game. <laughs> Remna Wolf is playing Baldur's Gate 3. And Puffle is having a special event. Let's see. Content class. Yep, class. Learn the secrets of Twitch. Okay. And then we have K9 with Cyberpunk 2077. And Horatius the Dwarf, who is doing a psychology edutainment stream. Okay. <laughs> and hello there, Pizza. Just coming in at the end, huh? <laughs> Uh, you can always oh, watch the VOD if you want. <clears throat> I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to go have breakfast. You guys have a good afternoon. I don't really know your time. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost evening. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, later. Yeah. Yeah, see ya, later. and hopefully see you again for L.A. Noir then. Yep. Okay. Hey. Uh, let's see. Shall we raid K9? I don't think we've raided them in a while. Yeah, let's uh, Ray can I. Okay, copy the name, head to our place, and slash raid paste. I believe a 2.0 patch or slash update came out for cy no, not cyber. <laughs> I almost said cyberpunk, cyberpunk 2077. So I think a lot of people are going to be coming back to it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are they? Pl they're playing uh, cyberpunk 2077. But yeah. Uh, before we go, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover, even though you just popped in. Thank you, Glacier Boy. And thank you, as always, Drakir and Ram in absence. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And, and before I yeah. forget, or, I have a question I always be over to ask, and, I could, and uh, Glacier Boy reminded me of, to ask of it today. Oh. What the heck is Aspie? Uh, is basically short for Asperger. Uh, it's basically short for person with Aspergers. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, apparently, pizza got banned from twenty seventy seven. The the heck did you do? Or do we even want to know? <laughs> Anyways, then, uh, if nothing goes wrong, we should be. You know, we will be streaming. LA in the war with Rom later today in about two and a half hours, if nothing gets in the way, of course. I'll just say that again. And yeah, or otherwise, dust. more dust. Yeah. Okay. So, LA in war or dust? Okay, with that then said, let's start. To re oh, okay, they've got raid block on. Okay. Um... All right, that kind of makes sense for that game, or if they've been having problems. Let's see, let's. Have we raided Sour... Yes, we have say raided Sour Walrus somewhat recently, I think. Let's go Let's go say hi to the kitty, who is not in their ice bath for once, it seems. Uh, raid block... It basically doesn't allow people to raid you, Pizza. Uh, if it's dust, I might be coming. And then I guess it not be, might not be coming for LA Noir. I got something you can raid if you want. Uh, who then? I, as I watched the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, is it... the raid block is basically is a thing that came up things to like we do positive raids that are supposed to be meant supportive, but while not too long ago, people started to use do hate raids. This yeah, hence why the raid block is a thing. Uh, let's see. Depends on if you want Valorant or Arts. Uh, yeah, Valorant and Overwatch aren't really our type of game pizza, so I think we'll just go with Kiri Natsuyoko with Clone Hero. Um, yeah, let's start that raid up. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, if nothing goes wrong, LA Noir, otherwise Dust, we'll have to see which it'll be. 
But for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, until, uh, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombie seagulls. I always went. I almost went with the until then, until then that I used to do. <laughs> <laughs>